Brushbelt is a sandy gray tom with a white flash on his chest and bright green eyes. He and his littermates, Tawny Kit and Dapple Kit, were born to reign for a Thunder Clan in the midst of an especially harsh leaf bear and crowded nursery. The Kits and their mother, like the rest of their clanmates, were reduced to eating worms to try to survive. One of the queens, Hair Pounce, died of starvation after giving up all her prey to her kits. Her two kits, Speckle Kit and White Kit, were then raised alongside Brush Kit and his littermates by his mother, Rainfur. The clan gave Rainfur the first choice of prey to keep her strength up as she suckled all five kits, and all of them survived. They became apprentices and eventually warriors. He earned the name Thrushpelt, while the others were Tawny Spots, Dappletail, Speckletail, and One Eye. Brushpelt gained a reputation for being one of the nicest cats in the clan. He was a dependable warrior, often being the one to report things to Pine Star. He initially believed that it was better to let River Clan have Sunning Rocks than to have unnecessary bloodshed over it, but after River Clan actually claimed it, he wanted Thunder Clan to take it back so that they'd still have the respect of the other clans. Thrushpelt began to develop feelings for the young she cat Bluefur and often complimented her and did kind things for her, such as cleaning her nest without being asked. Many of their clanmates began to notice this, but Bluefur herself didn't, not until it was pointed out to her. She was only interested in him as a friend. He got his first taste of mentoring when Dappletail had to go to the medicine den and had him watch her apprentice, Goldenpaw. He later became an actual mentor when he was assigned the apprentice Spottedpaw, he was patient with her and didn't want to push her into anything she wasn't yet ready for. As she began to show more and more interest in the medicine den, he took her aside and told her that he liked having her as an apprentice, but that it would be okay if she felt that she was really meant to be a medicine cat. Although she insisted at the time that she still wanted to be a warrior, she eventually changed her mind and switched her apprenticeship. Around this time, Thrushpelt was surprised one day when Rosehill congratulated him on being a father. Considering that he didn't actually have a mate, he went to talk to Bluefur, and she confirmed that she was expecting another cat's kits, and that everyone was simply assuming that Thrushpelt was the father. Although Thrushpelt must have felt hurt, he didn't ask her who it was. He simply said that he knew she must have a reason to keep it secret, and that they could let the clan believe that he was the father if it made things easier for her. He loved her, and only wanted to make her happy, and he would love the kits as if they were his own. Eventually, Bluefur decided not to outright tell her clanmates that he was her mate, but if they assumed that was the case, she didn't contradict them. He cared for her kits, and occasionally caught prey, especially for them. When the kits were seemingly killed by a fox, he grieved for them, as a father would have. He remained Bluefur's faithful friend, and kept her secret about the kit's father until the end, when he finally joined Star Clan. Blue Star missed him and always regretted that she couldn't reciprocate his feelings, and the fact that she'd never told him that two of the kits had survived. She knew he'd know now that he was in Star Clan, though. Thrushpelt is an excellent role model. From his kind and selfless personality, to his responsible behavior as a warrior, there's a lot to appreciate about him. Although he wasn't the cat that was meant to be Blue Star's mate, he was a true friend. <laughs>